Hello everyone. My name is T Hunter. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back and thank you so much for coming back. Today I wanted to talk about this topic, trust God and you. And I'm actually wearing one of my favorite sweatshirts from Beacon Threads that has the phrase on it. I will make sure to put their information in the description box. Um, so back in 2018, I was preparing for my licensure exam to become a licensed therapist. And there is just so much going on in the days leading up to the exam. And I know in one of my previous uh, video, failure didn't take me out. I did describe my testimony around the first part of the testing um, process. Me taking the law and ethics exam, that was in 2017. And well, taking and passing it was in 2017. So then in 2018, I went ahead and took the clinical exam in order to fulfill all of my requirements for licensure. So, um, also another reason why I wanted to do this video today is because I have been seeing a lot of sermons around trusting God, especially with everything that's going on in this world. One of my favorite series thus far has been the Anchored series by Pastor Mike Todd. He's the lead pastor at Transformation Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So my husband and I have been watching that series faithfully on Sundays as well as during the week, of course, because Sunday is not enough. <laughs> One day a week is not enough in order to like really get God's word into you and to make sure that you can make it through the week. So just like we don't eat physical food one time a week, we need to make sure that we are, you know, consuming God's word, meditating on it day and night if we are going to last and, you know, be able to persevere through anything that's thrown at us because things are going to be thrown at us, tests and trials that are coming, but we're not alone. Um, so let's see, the week of the exam, I could definitely feel myself being nervous. You know, this was a, a big deal. This is the last major thing that I would need to do in order to obtain my license. And so <clears throat> that Wednesday, November 14th, my great aunt, Emma, passed away. And that was shocking to me because while I knew there had been some health issues, I did not know the extent of them. Um, my aunt, she was one that didn't want people to worry about her. So she did not verbalize a lot of information to a lot of people in the extended family. And I can understand that. Um, however, it was a very shocking blow to the family. Um, once my grandmother passed away in 2008, I feel like my Aunt Emma stepped up as like the matriarch of the family. Um, we would spend time with her for holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and she had this infectious laugh, this signature smile. Her style was out of this world. Um, I definitely miss her. And so for her to die three days before my exam date, I was a wreck and I was actually debating on rescheduling my exam date because I was wondering, like, God, am I going to be able to get through this? I'm, I'm grieving the loss of someone that's very important to me, someone who has inspired me to, you know, do my best at whatever I choose to do, whether it be school, um, be ministry, just be a, the best person that I could be in every aspect of my life. And now she's gone. So... I started to, you know, like worry that the grieving process was going to distract me to the point that I would not be able to pass my exam. So the crazy part is I don't think I had ever heard of Beacon Threads prior to that week. And I kept seeing the sweatshirt that I'm wearing now, I kept seeing it come up on my timeline on social media. And as I continued to see it, God gave me lyrics for a song 
And at the time, my husband was doing one of his Water Hunter music challenges. He just had a simple movement, you know, a few chords with a, you know, a beat mixed into it. And other people were jumping on the challenge. And normally I would just, you know, watch the challenges and enjoy and go, go on about my day thinking, oh, you know, I could never do a challenge like that. Um, you know, freestyle, writing a song. Ooh, scary. Can't do it. <laughs> but God gave me the lyrics to trust God and chill for the Y Hunter Music Challenge. And I remember singing it to myself as I would prepare uh, for the day. Um, the day before the exam, I know I'd taken off of work and that's when all of the lyrics came to me. And I remember I was singing it as I was getting ready to, you know, like get cleaned up and get ready to start studying for the day. And I'm just so grateful that God reminded me in one of my most challenging times, losing a loved one while trying to take the next step in my career, that he was going to be there for me, that he was going to take care of me as he always has. And I could really just rest assured in the fact that he has never failed and he never will fail me. So that's the story behind the music. Um, the testimony behind Trust God and Chill. So I pray that it encourages someone to just rest in God's word, rest and stand on his promises. So I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Trust God and chill. Trust God and chill.